Sagittarius, how's it going guys? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya. And thank you so much if you've liked, shared, and subscribed already. And if you haven't and I vibe with you as a reader, please do smash that subscribe button. It really does help my channel. Uh, also, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can find the information in the description box below. I book with everybody in mind. Um, and their website is, again, down below. I don't know why I felt the need to say that twice. That was goofy. You can also get uh, video recording readings. Um, you know, they're not as interactive as the Zoom ones through everybody in mind, but you can get video answers, much like these YouTube videos, to your specific questions on Wissio. Again, that link is in the description box below. Uh, also, you can find discount codes to greenwitchhome.com for um, some really great crystals. Uh, use mama code, mama code, why can't I talk? Look at Mercury and it's getting late. Uh, discount code MAMAFAYA to get 10% off and also you'll find information for once virtual venue and you can find my summer solstice reading over on that page please consider um, subscribing to them as well they're a wonderful music venue that gave me an opportunity to do a summer solstice reading and that was a lot of fun all right so let's just get into your reading strategy this is going to be an abundance reading just like all the others this week and I'm going to really hope that you get some good readings on or some good information on how to bring in more abundance. The readings have been weird. Like, they haven't really been abundance-based too, too much. But let's see what comes through for my, my moon sign. I have Saggy in my moon and Nept uh, I think it's Neptune. And I also have a Sagittarius daughter. So Saggy is one of my favorite signs. Uh, it's one of my signs. So I appreciate it. I got Saggy tattoo. I don't know why I don't know how to show off my arm. Um, okay, Sagittarius, dear Father God, Mother Earth, higher self, spare guides, angels, and ancestors, please protect me and my viewers from any lower vibrational energies by only allowing high vibrational energies in during this reading and blocking any lower vibrational energies from entering this sacred space, so mote it be. Jeez. I can't, I can't talk. Why am I having such a hard time talking during this video? Normally I just flow. So let's see. Let's see, Saggy. What's going on? Are you all mixed up from Aries going into Mars and going to be sitting there for the next six months for the rest of the year, basically? And Mercury going into retrograde? And yesterday I was feeling great. And today I'm feeling another major shift. It's odd. Real odd, Bob. All right, whoever Bob is, who's Bob? My grandfather's name was Bob. All right, Autumn, release old and rest. All right, Saggy Poo. This does go along with um, my fire sign reading from last week where it was like, you know, fire signs need to chill, you know? Um, ooh, see from a higher perspective. So there's something we're not seeing from the right view. That's interesting. Grow within your current situation. So to create abundance, you're already on the right path, but you got to see something from a different perspective, or we have to see something from a different perspective. I got to remember, I am Saggy Collective. Ooh, Hunter, track down your fears and desires. So with the eagle and the hunter here, I'm getting that like there's something you're afraid of that you need to see differently. For real. Or there's something that you want that you might be denying. Drop your shields. Wow. That's strong messages, guys. Uh, Saggy, what's going on? Um, there's something you're afraid of. And you're afraid to cross that next threshold, Saggy. That will bring you. But you're, all, you're there. It's almost like what I'm picturing is Sagittarius standing at the edge of a bridge. And not wanting to go across, not not wanting to cross the bridge, but being at it, if that makes sense. We'll see what else comes out. Be brave and honest. Oof, yeah. And that that's I think for Saggy in this reading, being brave and honest with yourself about your own fear and your own hopes. All right. So let's see what else can my Sagittarius collective do. What can we do to bring in more abundance? More love, money, what? 
the lovers, woof. Wow. Strong energy, strong Gemini energy. Um, but also you may have some strong decisions to make. And maybe figuring out what's scaring you, Saggy. Because that's not normal fire sign behavior. Uh, you definitely could have some Gemini in your chart um, with that coming out. Uh, this also could, you know, really involve romantic relationships. So the type of abundance that is soulmate related uh, can absolutely be a part of this. Five of Swords. And that's more internal deceit I'm getting from that card. Like telling yourself you're not, oh, telling yourself you're not afraid of love when you really are, Saggy. Three of Cups. Oh, this is tough. This is, I am getting third party, you know, uh, info or info. Third party um, energy from that Three of Cups, and I don't always. But I want Saggy to cut out any third parties, any kind of um, love triangles that may be going on. Woo, woo, what did I hit on, Saggy? You know, you don't need to be sleeping around in a pandemic. Yeah, find balance, find balance, um, and definitely, Libra energy, strong Libra energy. And the Libra reading I just did was real powerful. It was Befriend Your Shadow. It was a really cool reading. And I, and if you have any kind of Libra in your chart, I suggest you go watch that because it was really cool. But um, that was a lot about tempering their good and bad side and, and befriending their shadow. And... For you, I'm getting a little bit of this. Like, if you're that type of person who really gets a lot out of attention from other people and really puts way too much stock in that and finds yourself in third parties because of it, uh, it's time to really cut that out, Saggy. Uh, this is some playa energy I'm getting, and I don't even have the Knight of Wands here. Or the King of Wands, or any wands. There were no wands, actually, now that I notice. Um, ooh, Page of Cups. And Saggy, ooh, Ten of Swords. Ouch. So this can go one of two ways with this Page of Cups and this Ten of Swords together like that. Um, it's absolutely either someone owes you an apology because they hurt you, Saggy, or you owe someone an apology because you hurt someone and how that's related to abundance is it's karma clearing you know king of pentacles that denotes responsibility so sad you may need to um apologize you may need to be the one who apologizes but it also denotes that you're real responsible and you may have some earth placements in your chart but I am getting more that, you know, if you're watching this reading, you're more likely the one who deserves the apology. And I'm also getting really strongly that some of my Sagittarius's may be waiting for an apology that's not going to come. And there are some people who are non-apologists. There are people who have such a hard time apologizing because... They feel so much shame for what they do. It's like even admitting they did something wrong, you know? So you have to find closure on your own, Saggy. Um, if you're especially the person waiting for an apology, I you let that go, okay? Because waiting for an apology means you'll never get one. It's, it's, that's Manifestation 101. Let it go. You know, and ooh, the Hierophant. It's real traditional energy, real strong um, Taurus. A lot of majors and minors. So some of this stuff is totally in your control. Some of this stuff is a little bigger than that. And it does seem like following your tradition, and I'm thinking like more your spiritual traditions, such as meditation. 
Um, Sagittarius, you're the most intuitive fire sign. You're almost always psychic. You know, you've always got really strong. Ooh, this damn five of pentacles is following me tonight. And you saw the way that flew out. Follow the traditional model of manifestation and also law of attraction by letting go of lack mentality in a big, big way. You really got to let go of that, like feeling like, and I'm getting some Sagittarius, don't, don't shoot the messenger here, but like if you feel like you're not getting attention, especially say from the opposite sex, you don't feel good about yourself, well, you need to start from scratch from there like and feel good about yourself regardless of who you have in your life or who you don't have in your life. You're fucking dope, Sagittarius. And again, my page of wands always denotes to me someone who either just recently realized they have a lot to learn or needs to realize they have a lot to learn but willing to do so. Uh, Six of wands, that's where you got to go. This is very close to the Scorpio reading where it's like kind of start from scratch energy, you know, and understand that you still have a lot to learn in this life no matter how old you are. And that six of wands, definitely, that's when the attention will come in. If you're feeling like shit because you're not getting attention from anybody, give yourself that attention. And then, and learn to love yourself. Yeah. Queen of, Queen of Cups. Get yourself, you may have some water in your chart. There's definitely strong Scorpio energy for me, uh, even though the Queen of Cups is Cancer. Uh, Saggy, keep yourself nice and emotionally stable, no matter what anybody else is doing. And really try your best not to react to things. The hermit. Yeah. And if that means you have strong Virgo energy, take the time to meditate and be alone. The only way you can learn to love yourself is when you're alone. There's the nine of swords. You need to get some sleep here. Saggy, um, don't let lack mentality keep you up at night. Don't let anxiety keep you up at night. Don't track down those fears. That's going to be your biggest way. What are you afraid of? You're afraid of poverty? Are you afraid of being alone? Move towards a way, comma, state of mind. That's what you need to do and say, I'm never alone. And King of Pentacles, yeah. And I don't think this is a money issue. I think this is an attention issue. You, Sag is doing just fine with money, you know. And so Knight of Swords. You guys are impulsive. We are impulsive. Eight of Pentacles. Focus on your spiritual work. Focus on your emotional stability. Focus on that. Don't go too crazy spending too much money either. For some reason, I'm getting that really strongly, Saggy. Watch, watch your spending. I do think that, you know, you don't want to, like, go and buy a bunch of... I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting that so strongly. But you also need to not be too impulsive when it comes to reacting to things right now because I do I am getting that Sagittarius is kind of like recalibrating a little bit here and you got to give yourself a little more patience and fig learn to love yourself because if you're feeling so crappy because you know um because people aren't paying attention to you, you just need to give that attention to yourself. Walk away from any lack. Walk away from this bullshit. You know, this walk away from those third party situations. And I'm getting that Saggy may have been the one that created third party situations here too. And I'm real sorry, Sag, but I mean, please don't shoot the messenger here. Um, it's. This is a strong message. Like, there's a lot to... There are things that, like... It's almost like... You just have to modify your lifestyle. Really drop the anxiety over what people think. Or how people feel about you. 
That's a big message. Queen of Cups again. Definitely my Saggies with a lot of water in their chart. Uh, again, this can be for Sag Moon, Sun, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, um, North Node. Any place, any Sag placement, basically. Three of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like once, once Saggy walks away from any third party, old karmic shit, gets themselves nice and emotionally stable, that's when the Three of Wands, you can expect really good things coming in. You can watch it, but first you need to get alone, Saggy, and really figure out what you're afraid of. That's going to be, and what it is that's trying to stop you. And if you book a personal, I can definitely tap into your specific situation and give really uh, good advice on that. And I'm trying to take this message too and see what this means for me. You know, it could even mean the fact that like, since I only have like 159 subscribers so far, you know, or something like that. You know, even subconsciously, that could be, you know, like, oh, maybe I want more people to subscribe. And, you know, I got to let go of that. You know, I'm not going to say I'm above any of that. We all have a little bit of that in us, you know, so maybe that's how. Yeah. Getting alone and meditating on what you're afraid of and and just letting that go and and definitely letting go of any third parties, whatever that means for you. Um, and find your inner balance. You definitely could have Libra in your chart, Sag. Page of Pentacles. And if that is a level of like starting over and studying, really let go of any kind of lack mentality, feeling like you're not enough or whatever, anything like that. You know, um, it's funny because like my personal business is, is very, very successful, but this YouTube channel isn't popping off the way like, I would love for it to, and I mean, that's, I'm really not that worried about it, but there are moments when I'm like, oh, come on, I wish more people paid attention to this damn channel, but at the same time, I know to be really, really grateful for the 159 I do have, that is fucking amazing for me, I love it, you know, I love that there are people who watch my videos, you know, and so I don't care. And I, and I know I can easily let that go, any of those thoughts that may even creep up that feel a little involuntary, like, wow, I wish this would pop off the way my personal business did, you know, but there's, you know, you can still celebrate even the small successes, even, you know, I'm going to celebrate reaching 160. It's going to be dope, <laughs> you know, and that's how you got to look at it is every day, as long as you're getting a little better every day, the only person you have to compete with is yourself. So love yourself. Stop looking for love outside yourself. That's going to be a big lesson for Saggy right now, is finding love within and not looking for love from others. Because that's not what validates you. You can only validate you truly. And yeah, facing your fears. Big, big Big growth for Saggy here. But what else is new? You know, wildness. Be you, Saggy, because you have always marched to the beat of your own drummer. And you've never had a problem with this. So, you know, the fear thing for fire signs is not a normal sort of state of being. and But it can get the better of even the strongest fire signs. So please, guys, don't f feel free to ask for help, too. You know, that's going to be, and, and, but more than anything, it's that meditation and getting alone that's going to really help you search yourself. Be really, truly honest with yourself. Okay, Saggy? All right, this went longer than I thought. All right, love you guys. Have a great night. Please consider booking a personal or, or ordering a video on Wissio. And, um, you know, you can also email me with any questions. All right, thank you guys. Take care.